Cobot. Did you cook pilau? Hmm, that's making me hungry. Hmm, this batch smells nice and it tastes nice. But it doesn't look quite right. The color is off and it doesn't feel right. The texture is off. I think I need to try a little less water. <laughs> Koba, you're cooking for the whole nervous system. To please all of the five senses. What's the nervous system? It's the system that sends signals from your brain to the different parts of your body. And from all around your body to your brain. So when I smell the pilau with my nose, mm -hmm. or see it with your eyes, or feel it with your skin, or taste it with your tongue. Mm. Hot, hot, hot! Hey, that's how we should be making my pilau too, as a team. I'm great with taste. Kibela, you're such an artist. You can help make it look great. I have been looking for something special, for a special someone. Since you're all going to cook, and you budge anyways. Don't worry, little bro. I'll pack this batch of my brilliant pilau right up for you. Thanks, big bro. I'm going to give it to Pendo to show her how much I care about her. <laughs> Here you go, little bro. Thanks, Koba. Well, I would better get going. I don't want to leave my Pendo waiting. Bye. Everybody part is important. Everybody part is important. <laughs> Pendo! <laughs> there you are, my girl. I brought you some of Koba's brilliant pilau. Now you eat this while I go get changed. Then we can play. <laughs> so, um, Koba, who's Pando? <laughs> Is she Baraka's? <laughs> Pando, she's Baraka's donkey. Donkey? donkey? <laughs> yeah, last weekend we went to visit our uncle on his farm, and Baraka loved the donkey so much that uncle gave him one to bring home and care for himself. Baraka's been taking his responsibility pretty seriously. Everything is Pendo this, Pendo that, but I don't think he really understands what donkeys need. He just gives her stuff that he likes. A donkey. <laughs> we thought... <laughs> Everybody part is important. Yuck, what's that? Just gotta find some grass or hay. Oh, I miss eating hay. Everybody part has its own functions. Everybody point is important. Everybody point. Hello. Oh, Pendo, my love. Pendo, my love. I know you're waiting for. Koba, Amani. Kibana, help! What is it, Baraka? Pendo, she's gone missing! No sign of her in the garden either. So, she really ran away? Or maybe she got lost. And she's alone. And she's hungry. They didn't even eat her pilau. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Baraka. We're a team. That's right. Four brains are better than one. If we work together as a team, we can solve this. Hi there! Don't be afraid. I'm a friendly elephant, and I always help friends in need of help. You look like you might be in need of help. I'm lost and I'm so hungry. Oh, no worries. I always keep pumpkins stashed away, just in case. Would you like one? Pumpkins? No way! We donkeys eat hay and oats. Hmm, hay and oats. I don't have any of those. But I know someone who knows just about everything about food. He'll surely know where to find some. You know, Baraka gave me pilau. It smelled nice, but... Baraka? You know Baraka? Yeah, he's my human. 
but they gave me the pilau. I, I promise. I didn't know. Gedere, wake up! Huh? Oh, Tiny Timbo! I was having one of my pilau nightmares again. Hey there, donkey friend. I'm Gedere. I'm Pendo. Nice to meet you, Mr. Gedere. Pendo's hungry and she's looking for hay and oats. Baraka gave her pilau, but she can't eat that. Hmm, pilau. My favorite. But maybe not for donkeys. Here's the deal. I'll take you to a place I know where there are a lot of donkeys. Surely they'll have your food. Then, when you're full, you can take me to eat the pilau. <laughs> deal. Buddy, tails aren't for biting. Hmm. Well, he's a nasty. You'd be in a bad mood too if you're locked in a cage like that. This place is horrible. I don't like it here. Maybe we should leave and. Oh no, we should help them. Ah! Look, stray animals. Quick, run! for lots of money on the black market. They are not worth much, but this little elephant will be worth its weight in gold. <laughs> Hide him in the secret bank. into the forest. What now? Mm, I'm not sure, but I do know that if we work together as a team, we'll figure it out. Don't worry, Baraka. We'll find her. Find who? Pendo. She's a donkey. She's lost. That might have something to do with me. What happened, Uncle T? Well, she came down to the forest sniffing around like she was looking for something. So I asked if she needed any help. I guess I started her because she went and just ran the other way. Oh no! She must be so scared! I can help you to look for her. Well, that's what we'll remember for a search team. Kibana, you look down low. Amani, you look to the right. I'll look to the left. And Uncle T, you look up high and out into the distance. I'm glad. My long neck can help the team. We each have to use our strength. And what do I do? You lead us and call out for Pendo. She knows your voice best. Don't forget to use all your senses. Let's go! I smell blood. Where's Pendo? Baraka! Pendo! Baraka! I don't think that's Pendo. Baraka! 
I have been looking for you everywhere, but my silly tail keeps bleeding. The bad guys scratched it when I was escaping that horrible farm. Bad guys? Escaping? What horrible farm? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Pendo and Tiny Tembo got captured by the bad guys at that horrible farm, but I escaped to come find you. We have to rescue them. Come on. Oh, my tail. Gedere, you can't go on a rescue mission like this. Huh. I didn't know you could feel in your tail. Of course I feel my tail. Oh. It's got very sensitive nerves in it. Nerves? Like the nervous system? Animals have a nervous system too? Of course they do, Koba. Animals have a nervous system. You're right. I should have known that animals have a nervous system because you can move around and do all sorts of things. Your nervous system controls your body to do that and also allows you to feel. So animals feel too, don't you? I'm sorry your tail hurts, Gadara. And I'm sorry to interrupt the science lesson, but we've got a donkey and a baby elephant to save. You're right, Amani, but our team's going to have to split up. You go ahead with Uncle T. I'll bandage up Gadara's wound, and then we'll join you as a backup. I'll get us some more help and meet you there. But where is it? Gadara, can you draw us a map on where to go? Hold still, Ngedere. I'm not trying to do it. I promise. It's like my tail is acting without my brain. That must be a reflex. We learned about them at school. Sometimes your nerves and muscles act themselves before the message even travels through your nervous system to and from your brain. Huh? I need to learn more about the nervous system. Pendo's there! I know it! Wait, team. We need to plan this. Okay, the plan is we run in there and ask the animals where Titi and Pendo are, then we save them. No, 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 no. I don't like that plan. You will get caught. I should sneak in and find them, and then I will sneak out without anyone noticing us. Uncle T, you're a giant giraffe. You can't really sneak unnoticed. Mm. We're supposed to be a team, guys. We can't disagree. Well, actually, you both have good ideas. I think it's okay for us to disagree, since there's always more than one solution to a problem. Asking the animals is a good idea, and so is sneaking, and so is having someone keep watch. You are right. Uncle T, I really like your idea. We can combine our ideas. Uncle T, your neck is really long, and you can see really far. That's really important for the team. Fine, I'll keep watch. But I'm blowing my ref's whistle if anything fishy goes down. And you will have to signal to me if you need me to do something else. Okay, I'm small and I'm sneaky. So I'll sneak up and ask the other animals where Pendo and Titi are. And then we will quickly and quietly sneak them out. I'll come with you. You'll need help. And you never know when you'll need someone to sing a song just to get you out of a bad situation. All right, team. Let's do it. These poor animals. They must feel so hot and tired and sad. Have any of you seen a donkey named Pendo? She has her braid in her mane and a swill on her left side. Thank you. Pendo! Shh. Stop right there! Donkey thieves! What are you doing? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just the monkey dance. I've got to get in today. 
Let go of our fence. Hmm. This is the private property, and you better get off at it once, or I'll call. The police? Don't worry. We already made a call. They should be arriving right about. What's going on here? These people. We're so thankful you came. These kids were trying to steal one of our donkeys. That's a lie. They kidnapped our donkey. We came to rescue her. All the stories children tell these days. Look around. This is a farm. Who do you believe? Professional farmers or a ragtag group of kids? Well, Baraka, does this donkey have any kind of tag or brand to show he's yours? No, but just look at the conditions here. They're treating the animals so poorly. Well, I'd have to agree. But that isn't illegal here. It may not be, but you know what is illegal? Capturing baby elephants. <laughs> These children and their stories. Let us show you around. You'll see that there are no baby elephants here. And then you'll also know that these children are lying about the donkey too. See? No baby elephants. But I know they took them. Our friend Gedere told us. Gedere? He's a monkey. So, a monkey told you that these people stole your donkey and a baby elephant? Kids, police work is serious business. We don't have time for pranks like this. This isn't a prank. They must have some secret place where they're hiding Tiny Tembo. What is it? I don't see anything. Well, I see something. It's, um, look! These animals, they help us in so many ways. The milk the cow provides, the eggs the chicken lays, and the donkey who shoulders our burdens all day. Let's ask ourselves what we can do to repay to repay, to repay We must care for their needs And show them our hearts Give them medicine when they fall ill And breaks from pulling their carts Just like us, they need food, water to thrive Space to move around at day Stay safe at night don't you forget that animals feel too Just like me and you Cold or hot, hungry or tired They have needs and desires So when an animal depends on you Remember animals feel too These animals, they help us In so many ways the dog guards our house and also loves to play And the birds sing songs to brighten up our day Let's ask ourselves what we can do to repay To repay, to repay Some animals, we need to give them homes While others need natural spaces to roam When you're making decisions about the things that you do Remember that they affect the animals too. Don't you forget that animals feel too. Just like me and you. Cold or hot, hungry or tired. They have needs and desires. So when an animal depends on you. Remember animals feel too. Don't you forget that animals feel too. Just like me and you Cold or hot, hungry or tired They have needs and desires 
So when an animal depends on you, remember animals feel too. Mind me, I'm just remembering my cat, Fluffles. She was such a cool cat. <laughs> Phew, a man you really saved us there. But we still haven't found the ones that we're here to save. to work as a team to get in. Chicks, how did you find us? Teamwork! Teamwork! Thanks! I can breathe again and I can... What's that ruckus? Tiny Tembo! I think you might need to check inside that barn again. And check more carefully this time. But how do we get in there? There's no door. Let us show you how. See, I, I told I you a monkey had told them. me. <laughs> it's illegal to keep wild animals like elephants and pangolins. We're going to take you in for questioning. I got your message, Baraka. What is it? Look at all these donkeys, Mzekigo. We need to find them a nice and safe place to live. And we were thinking, with all of your land... That I could give them a home? Caring well for animals is a lot of work. You have to make sure they've got the right food, plenty of water, shed when it's hot, care to keep them healthy and clean, and a safe space to live. Well, Mzekigo, if you can provide the safe space, we can help out with the rest. We can start a club, like our savings club. It'll be a donkey care club. We can learn about caring about donkeys and teach other people about donkey and animal welfare too. And we can invite our uncle to teach us about donkey care. Donkey Care Club! One, two, three! Donkey, donkey care, care Club! That's it for today's Donkey Care lesson. Thank you, Uncle! Don't worry, girl. I know what to do now to take care of you. And I'm so happy that we've got a team together to take care of all of you. It's a big responsibility. We've got to make sure you have the five freedoms. Freedom from hunger and thirst. Freedom from discomfort. We'll make sure you have a nice environment with shelter and a nice comfy place to rest. Freedom from pain, injury, or disease. I'll make sure your space is safe and make sure you get treatment when you need it. Freedom to express yourself and act like a donkey together with your donkey friends. And freedom from fear and distress. We'll pay attention to make sure you aren't afraid or suffering. Good work, Donkey Care Club. Now. We don't have a winner. The scores are too similar. 
Look, Kibena and Koba both got eight. Baraka has five and me, I have six. We need another round of jumping rope to get a winner. The winner's just arrived. There's no need for another round, guys. Just let me jump and I'll beat you all. Well, there you go. You've gotten your champion, me. How many did I jump again? 26. I am the champion. I am the champion. The champion is me. I'm Super Monkey. Woo -hoo. That monkey, he thinks he's so good. Huh, what a jerk. Look, guys. They beat each one of us. But if we compete against him as a team, he said he can beat all of us. But look at our points, our total points. If you add them up, we can beat them. That's right. Eight plus five is 13. 13 plus six is 19. 19 plus eight is 27. And Gadara only got 26. So together, we can beat him. Kibena and Koba, you each jumped eight times. So if the two of you jump together eight times each, you'll get a total of 16. What? What are you talking about? There are two of them. So if they jump together eight times, that's two times eight. It's two eight times. That's all two times eight means. Oh, I get it. So if you take two times eight, you get 16. But with that, we still can't beat them. All right, I have a plan. We all need to jump together and then we can win. But who'll hold the rope for us? Let me call some friends to hold the jump rope for us. <laughs> Heard you call us, Kibena. How can we help you? <laughs> Thank you for coming, you guys. You are such good friends, always willing to help out. Would you be willing to help us out by holding the jump rope? We want to compete uh -huh. again with Ngedere. Ngedere? Mm -hmm. Ngedere beat us each individually. Look, he's still celebrating over there. But if you hold the rope while the four of us jump, we can win this time around. No problem. We've got this. Gedere! You Gedere! Huh? What's going on? Gedere! Another round? You can't beat me, my friends. You wanna lose again? Okay. Suit yourself. All right, Gedere. You start this time. One, two, three, four. Remember how you said you could beat all of us? Look now, we're all going to jump together and we're gonna beat you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Patience, Ngadere. We have to calculate the scores before you can start celebrating. There are four of us, and each one of us has jumped seven times. So in total, we have jumped four times seven times. What is that? Four times seven? Hmm. How should I know? Four times seven means... Take four, seven times... Four 
plus 4 is 8. And then you keep adding. 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 28! Word said we can get there. Woo! You tricky, tricky kids. You use math to win, huh? <laughs> Wow! That's impressive! Okay, you're smarter than me! <laughs> now it's our turn to jump rope. Who will count for the elephants? Let's all count! One! Aya! Aya. Oh, Daddy, we got zero! Hmm? But there are two of you, so that's two times zero. Hey, Kibena, how much is that? Ngedere, anything times zero is just zero because there's nothing. So two times zero is zero. Don't you guys remember the song? Which, Which song? song? What does zero be? Ah, ah, we already, already knew, knew it. it. Sing it again. Sing it again. What does zero mean? It's, it's just, just a number, number that, that means nothing. nothing. Uh-huh. We missed because we want to teach you the meaning of zero in multiplication. I think now you understand. We could jump until the morning if you wanted to. Fine, Kidocho. Why are you back so late? I've had a crazy day. We played football and learned math. You have been learning math? Nice, Kidocho. But what did you learn? Positive and negative numbers. Such as? Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Ah, and what if I asked you negative 3 times negative 2? Oh, come on, Dad. I'm tired. Let's watch TV. Mm, okay. Mm, if you're so tired, why don't you go to your room and rest? I'm watching the soldiers. Don't you know I want to be a soldier someday? <laughs> Being a soldier's hard work, all sweat and tears. You really think you could do it? All those boot camp workouts. Could you take it? I can do it, Dad. Let me show you. 
to the left and turn to the back and turn see i can do it <laughs> you think the soldiers get to direct their own parade someone else gives them instructions then they have to follow can you follow instructions of course i can okay then listen carefully now I'm going to instruct you on a very special parade called the Multiplication Parade. Two steps forward, march! Two more steps forward, march! For the last time now, two steps forward, march! <laughs> You've done well, Kiduchu. Hey, tell me now, how many total steps have you walked? Two. Two, two, six in total. Okay. We can sum that up by saying two steps times two. Two steps times two. Do you understand? One, two, pa, pa. One, two, pa, pa. One, two, pa, pa. In a multiplication parade, there can be both negative and positive numbers. You want me to show you? Mm. Don't you want to be a soldier? I really do, Dad. Show me, show me. In the multiplication parade of positive and negative numbers, you have to listen to the instructions very carefully. This negative sign shows you to turn. For the first negative sign, you turn to the left. Then you move towards the negative side. And if there's another negative side, you turn to the other side. Chop! That's the positive direction. Then if there's another negative, you turn again. Chop! You get it? Okay, let's try it out. The first march, negative two times negative two. First negative, turn. Second negative, turn. Two times two, march. So what do you think you'll get now? It's positive four. Well done, Kiduchu. You really could be a soldier. Ah, Dad, I understand. So if it's negative two times negative two times negative two, it'll be like this. First negative, second negative, third negative. Two times two. Times two. Okay, so how much is that now? Negative eight. Aha. So, negative two times negative two times negative two is negative eight. Well done. Phew, Dad. I am really tired now. Can I go rest? But I really did like the multiplication parade. Hiruchu, walk like a soldier. Very nice. Well done, Kiduchu. <laughs> but Mama, if you multiply a negative times negative, what do you get? Explain it, Mama. A negative times a negative. In Kiswahili, we'd say hasi. That means negative. For example, negative three times negative four Look at those negatives first. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Negative times negative is positive. That's right. A negative times a negative is positive. So, three times four is what, children? Twelve. What's that in Kiswahili? <laughs> And negative times negative is positive. So, negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Uh, that's right. It's positive 12. So then, what's negative 3 times negative 4 times negative 2? 
Use your brains, kids. <laughs> you can answer that yourselves. Just give it some thoughts and you can do it. We already know that negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. So now, what's positive 12 times negative 2? Positive times negative is negative. Positive times negative is negative. And 12 times 2 is 24. So the answer is negative 24. So all together, repeat for me. Negative 3 times negative 4 times negative 2 is negative 24. Wonderful! <laughs> you make me happy! <laughs> It's time for music. Today's story happens in two places. On the football pitch and inside by the Koba, body. Your team only has 10 players. You are one player short. I know, Rev. Just give us a second. We'll figure something out. Koba, I can play over here. So, what do you guys think? I think we should wait till Zawadi turns up. But wait, Zawadi is already an hour late. Koba, let me! Let me play! Let me play! I think we should find someone to replace him. Okay, so are we all okay with that? Well, we don't really have a choice. It's either that or we forfeit the game. I'm over here! I can play! Shh! Baraka, shut up! But I can play. Can we get to play for us? I said someone good. Hey, what about your brother? No, no way. If my brother plays, we'll lose for sure. I don't know. He could be good. Kibena, listen. If my brother plays, we are going to lose. What makes you say that? He's selfish and he doesn't understand that football is a team sport. He just wants to play up front and get all the glory. Trust me, you don't know him like I do. Hey, kids. So? Are we going to play or what? One second, Ref. We're getting another player. Well, hurry up then. My wife is making lackfish. Last time you guys kept me waiting, I had to eat it cold. Okay, Ref, relax. Let's just put him in. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Trust me, you don't know him like I do. There's one more reason he shouldn't play. What's that? I bet it's because you guys think I'm small. He is small. He's so small, just look at him. Baraka, when did you get here? See, being small does have its advantages. I can be tricky. Yeah, but that's not helpful in a football match. Look at the size of those guys. Koba, put me in. I won't let you down. <sighs> okay, well, we don't have much of a choice. You're in, Baraka. Zawadi's missing. You can take his place. Oh, thank, big brother. I'll play anywhere you want me to. Good, good. You take Zawadi's place in midfield. Midfield? I don't play in midfield. I only play as a striker. See what I mean? This kid's unreal. Look, do you want to play or not? Fine. I'll play in midfield, but just this once. Good news. We're ready, ref. It's about time. <laughs> you kids, I'm getting hungry. Let's follow the oxygen into Baraka's body. You see Rafiki? He's selfish, just like Baraka. Rafiki, wait. Rafiki, you have to wait! Red blood cells at attention! I see one of you is missing. Someone better tell me or this unit will be doing push-ups all day long. All day! It was Rafiki! What? I don't like doing push-ups. Rafiki. Rafiki's job as a red blood cell 
is to transport oxygen around the body. But he can't do it on his own. Hmm. It's been a minute. Really should be back by now. It takes a minute for a red blood cell to circulate through the entire system. <sighs> oh. Maybe he got lost. You would have to be pretty dumb to get lost. Every artery and vein is clearly signposted. This is Rafiki we're talking about, you know? Hmm. You may have a point. Right, troops. We have a clear and distinct mission, Operation Rafiki, to find and bring back Rafiki in one piece. On the next intake of breath, we are a go. And remember, troops, leave no red blood cell behind. Oh, no! Rafiki's lost! What is he going to do? Which was it again? The feet? The stomach? Maybe I should have waited and gone with the others. Where am I? The ram! It's time to prepare! The match is about to start! Oh no... Get ready, red blood sails. It's game time. Midfield. I'm going up front. Oh, uh, Baraka, what are you doing? We need you back here. Commander, we did a whole pass, but we couldn't find Rafiki. We're going to have to do another run, but this time we must go off the official track. Track? Yes. He must have veered off somewhere. From now on, I am never leaving my unit. And I'm going to learn how this whole system works. He's turning blue. He has no more oxygen left. Where can he get some more? There he is. I found him. Rafiki, we were worried sick. Are you okay? You look awful. We need to get you back to the lungs to get you some oxygen. I told you, you need to wait for your unit. I know. I get it. I was stupid. I'm never going to act selfishly again. Go on, troops. We need to get the rest of this oxygen around to where it needs to be. And then... We need to get back to the lungs to get Rafiki some oxygen. Uh, how could I have forgotten? The feet, of course. I guess I must have panicked. You should have waited. Well, that is if you are coming from the body and if you are coming from the head. You use the superior vena cava, which means here. Pass the right atrium, enter the triscupid valve. And from here, we head out of the right ventricle and up to the lungs. It's as simple as that. 
I don't know why I got lost. You got lost because you weren't part of your unit. There isn't much point for a single cell to try and carry oxygen around the entire system alone. The red blood cell is part of a team. Without the team, all of us are nothing. Even you, Commander? Even me, Samira. Okay, there is some oxygen that needs ferrying around. Are you ready? Tell me, Cells, you ready? Yes, Commander. Leave no cell behind. on my own. So dumb. I know, right? Baraka! We need you back here to help out! I'm sick of playing midfield. I just get bullied. I'll just wait here, and when we get the ball, I'll take my chance and score, and I'll get all the glory. Come on, troops! We're at full sprint, so we need to get a move on! Faster! Faster! Get that oxygen round the body! Listen, you. Where do you think you're going? Look, I just knew you'd blame me for that goal. And why would anyone blame you? It's because I'm supposed to play in midfield. Now, you're gonna make it up to the team. You're gonna play in your position, you wanted to play this game, so you're gonna play in midfield. We have a breach! We have a breach! Grab on whatever you can! Grab on anyone you can! You, come here. Baraka, are you okay? Is oh that no, it? he's bleeding. I'm bleeding? Oh my God, is he going to be okay? I don't know. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, I said! What? Who are you? I'm one of your red blood cells. One of my what? Red blood cells. It's my job to get oxygen around your body. So what are you doing here? I don't know. This is your dream, my friend. My what? You said I'm in my what? Your dream! How long have I been here? A couple of seconds, I guess. Maybe I should just carry on pretending that I'm out cold. I'm one of your red blood cells, so I know that you're really okay. 
Now, let's get you patched up so we can continue with the game. I have to get back to my team. They're depending on me. Part of a team? Yes, and they depend on me. And what do you do? Well, the other red blood cells and I, we ferry oxygen all around your body. From your lungs to your heart and to all your organs. And when you play sports, we have to work twice as hard. So, you're part of a team? The team is the most important thing. We have to act as a team or the system won't work. The system is everything and we all have our place in it. So what do you say? We clean that wound and we get back in the game. But I don't want to. Why not? Because I'm small. They keep bullying me. Being small has its advantages. But I'm scared. Fear is natural. It happens to all of us. Good thing about being part of a team is that you can depend on others for help. So there's no need to be scared because I'm part of exactly. a team. Exactly. Earlier today, I was lost and scared and alone. I wasn't acting as part of a team. Okay then, let's do it. Koba, look. I think he's coming too. Baraka, are you going to be able to carry on? Maybe we should just call the game off if you're injured. Injured? Me? No, I'm fine. Get me some water and a plaster and I'm good to go. Are you sure? Look, play up front. That way, you have less chance of being fouled. Up front? Never. I'm playing in midfield. Now listen up, troops. We lost a good cell today. One of the finest, one of the most courageous. Yeah! Rafiki? Rafiki, where have you been? Yeah, Rafiki, tell us. I was outside. No way, outside? What was it like? What were you doing? I went to meet him. Meeting whom? To meet him. No way! What's he like? What does he look like? What's funny is that we all look a little like him. And? He was playing and he got himself injured. He wanted to quit, but I told him that his team needed him. So I told him to clean and dress his wound and get back in the game. You told him? Sure did. So we best get ready because any second now, the game is going to restart and we're going to have to be firing on full cylinders. Wait a minute. I thought cells couldn't survive outside. Right, Commander? Well, this one did made it back to his unit. Now fall in line! Ten shut! We've got work to do. Are you gonna be able to carry on? Stop worrying about me. Now let's get out there and try to win this game. Give me the ball! Give me the ball! Baraka, I'm free! I'm open! If I hurry, I might just make it home in time for my wife's fish. Baraka, that was amazing! How did you do that? I just had to remember to use my lack of size to my advantage. But aren't you sad you didn't score? Nope, because the team is the most important thing. You know what, little brother? You can play on our team anytime. 
I don't know. I'm beginning to feel I'm too good for this team. I agree. I don't argue. We have a lot of different systems. All are working together one by one and helping each other. That's why we are alive with no worries. That's why we are alive with no worries. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. I agree. I don't argue. We have a lot of different systems. All are working together one by one and helping each other. That's why we are alive with no worries. That's why we are alive with no worries. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. Let me tell you something about the blood circulatory system. Blood is the liquid that is inside of your body. This is a basic science. No secret, I'm telling you. I want you to understand this song of mine to you. Blood circulates around the body carefully. The heart pumps it out. This is important to know. When the heart pumps, the blood circulates. Do you know how? Through the arteries and veins. I believe now you understand. And now you know. I believe you understand. And now that you know. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. Please ask yourself, what does the blood do? brings oxygen to all your body organs. It doesn't stop there. Listen to this part too. It also takes carbon dioxide out of your organs. I understand science. I mean, very, very well. No competitions. Who wants to compete with me? <laughs> the body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. You know what? There are so many different systems in your body. Let me tell you about some of them, listen carefully. There's digestive system for food in your body. There's respiratory system for air through your body. It helps you to breathe oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. That's why you can breathe nicely. You see, no doubt. There's endocrine system, which includes your brain. The nervous system, controlling everything. The reproductive system, also in your body. The skeletal and muscular system, helping you up. The urinal system, taking toxic out. The lymphatic system, keeping you healthy and alive. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. The body has lots of different systems. Each of them doing something different. Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaldo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubaldo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubaldo Kids family.